Another video. I'm gonna jump right into this one. Talking about why does um, good thoughts um, cross your mind? Why you end up missing uh, the narcissist, even though all of the the wrong they've done you, all of the things that they put you through. Why does that happen? Especially for those of you who have managed to break free and get away and go no contact. Why? Why do you uh, come across those thoughts um, of longing, of missing uh, the individual who is abusive, disrespectful, hateful, <clears throat> etc.? Well, you have to understand um, going into it where when you first met the narcissist, that there's certain things which we call impressions imprints, or you can refer to them as anchors, that the narcissist, um, that they, they purposely use to fixate the attention of the victim on them. So let's say, for example, uh, you're going through the love bombing stage and then all of a sudden they change up on you you get the devaluation stage to disrespecting you and all this right now the devel the devaluation stage can last a while before the discard stage and this is the most i think damaging part stage to be in because during the devaluation stage with you still being there with you getting the intermittent reinforce forcing behavior right so for example um they'll be they'll do something uh wrong to you and then they'll come back with a, a an all-out apology you know really good um makeup type of um uh uh, basically trying to rectify the situation with something really good to make up with. So they hit you with that and then they come back to you. And what that does, because in, at this point, you're not wanting to let go of the relationship. You're not wanting to abandon it because you still believe that there's the potentiality of something um, valuable or significant to hold on to. So you're willing to accept the uh, the makeup effort that they put in, right? And this makeup effort, they 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 use uh, false bonding with you, you know, uh, giving you the the false sense of uh, unity and and uh, empathy and sympathy uh, in regards to what they've done. Like you know, they make you feel like they're sorry for what they've done. They make you feel like they understand the wrong and while you are accepting it it is creating an anchor of getting used to or hooked on the outlandish behavior and then coming back with a remedy or an apology to soothe the hurt that they cause right so this is th these are creating imprints in the mind and the emotional um, uh, part of of your being as well. So once the narcissist does this on and off, and then sometimes by being intermittent, they won't apologize. They won't do anything. They'll just leave it, right? And they'll 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 have it lingering out, and then they'll do something sweet. And they'll behave for maybe three days or so. Will be the perfect person, the the person you always uh, wanted to have. You get three days of that, you know, and then all hell breaks out after those three days. And so now the brain starts becoming confused, and it starts almost trying to fight for the the opposite of what the narcissist is inducing. Uh, behavior wise in you how does this work on behalf of the narcissist this works because when they're not around 
and your brain becomes idle and starts uh, its withdrawal symptoms of not having any chaotic activity going on in your life because now they're gone. The chaotic activity is abruptly ended. Now you have something that you're, you've been disconnected from and that's peace of mind. So at this stage, having peace of mind almost become depressing, right? So you have peace of mind, but you're still depressed. You're still longing when really you should be relieved, but you're not relieved because you've been uh, subjected and, 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 and seduced into the routine of embracing this intermittent chaos, this up and down, back and forth, hot and cold. So now your body has and your mind has become used to operating off of that particular system, right? And it's it's formed a habit. Anything over 30 days becomes a habit. The body adjusts to it and, it, and almost builds an expectancy of it. So now, you know, you kind of get used to expecting the the interaction between you and that individual or whatever chaotic situation it was. So really you're missing the routine which you have been programmed to accept. Right? And the narcissist knows this and this is why they know when they attempt the hoover that you'll more than likely be subject to entertain them or speak with them or talk to them or even accept them back because you haven't yet unhooked those anchors that they've they've put down in you right and so these have a lot of power on your on your on your 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 subconscious mind mainly but also in uh your your thought processing and behaviors because now you're you're by having the peace and just being alone now you don't want to be alone you don't want to have that peace right and so it starts pulling you more towards them and so now you're in a fight you're in a fight to to not well to to keep your sanity to not go back into the fun house into the lion's den uh, where the narcissist is if you manage to break away and this is basically, you know, your brain survival mode telling you you're in a bad situation. And, and at some point it forces you up out of there um, and you leave. But now you're the, the fight's not over. You have to break the, the addiction, the habit now. And this is where the thoughts that come into your mind about missing them and stuff, that's part of the habit. That's part of breaking the habit. That's something you have to endure and realize is that it's not missing them it's more so missing the routine that you have accepted and become become accustomed to uh entertaining you know it's no different than if you're used to getting up every morning and getting a cup of coffee it almost becomes like second nature you gotta have that cup of coffee to start your day some people will say so in order to change that it's gonna be hard and dealing with a narcissist, the longer you are in that type of situation, dealing with them, it's it's no different than breaking the habit of the toxicity that that you've you've been subjected to by the you know, the arguments, the fighting, the making up, and the breaking up, um, and and while all along you believing that there uh, is something significant and worthwhile. Um, a value for you to hold on to, which keeps you engaged in it. And this is what starts to damage you. This is what starts to um, deteriorate your own mental well-being. So the addiction and why you're thinking on them, it's, it's, it's again, I, I'm repeating this, I sound like a broken record maybe, but it's the routine. It's not really even the narcissist. It's just the routine that you uh, have invested in. While this was going on, there was so uh, many uh, strong, powerful emotions brought out of you, drawn out of you and into the situation of the individual as the narcissist 
that's what keeps you kind of connected. How intense the emotions were when you were arguing and fighting with this individual. Um, Emotions are powerful and wherever they flow, that's where your attention flows. And so that's why you still have a lot of emotional residue left over that you've given out towards that individual. So even though they're gone, there's still that 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 leftover uh, connection um, through the routine of, of the habit of, you know, engaging in such intense emotional outbursts with the individual. But anyway, I'll cut this video short. Just wanted to put that out there for you all. Um, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Also, uh, definitely check out my documentary. I'll leave a clip at the end of this video you can check out. And the ebook course, uh, the Anti Narcissist Awareness Training Academy. You definitely want to get that too. I'll leave I'll leave it in the description box too. You can just click the link and get it. But anyway, till next time, have a good one.